Hello everyone, welcome to Coder and Boots. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to use environment variables in Docker container. Okay, so and usage of environment variable is very important in case of uh, Docker. Uh, the reason is instead of hard coding uh, the values of spe specific parameters, we can pass this at the uh, at the runtime. So for example, the database host, database port, uh, or uh, or uh, something like I mean the the username of something or the connection URL so all these kind of things whatever variables you wanted to pass so you can pass it at the runtime in the form of variables okay so it is uh, helpful in case of what let's say you you have written a code and while deploying in the dev environment it, your uh, configuration will be something right while deploying in the prod environment the configuration is something right so all these so instead of like making changes to the code or updating something in the file right so we can dynamically uh, make the same program or the same container run by passing these as environment variables okay so uh, this is not the build variables I am talking about this is like the variables for the docker container build variable and uh, uh, build variable is separate so that is basically the the variable that is passed to the docker file uh, at the time of build okay so that is different and this is uh, the the variable that gets passed to the container at the time of uh, run okay so there are two ways in which we can pass this variable so one is the individual variable itself we can pass it like by using hyphen e argument we can pass individual variables one by one second option is if we have a lot of variables we can pass it as a file okay at the time of uh, run so we can pass an env file using hyphen hyphen env hyphen file and pass the file we can have all the variables with the values in the form of key value pairs inside the file okay so that's how we pass it let's get into the practical of this so uh, okay so then the third part i mean how to access the variable so those things i'll show you how how we can access the variable how to pass the variable everything so i i'm showing a sample uh, docker file okay so this docker file if you see here we have uh, we are uh, we have a base image of python then uh, we have the work directory flask app then copying everything so we have a simple program or api program over here and we have uh, some expose so uh, some ports we are just declaring like these are going to get exposed so this is just a declaration and then pip install requirements.txt python app.py okay so let's see what is there inside the app.py so this is my simple python program there i have a flask api and the endpoint is slash api and the host is 000 port is 9090 debug true okay so what i'll do is instead of passing this port 9090 hard coded or here i am going to pass this as a variable okay so that's my goal so prior to doing that what i'll do is i'll show you how we can pass some things as a variable and how it will be accessible inside okay so let's see some running containers over here so we have some containers like flask app uh, v4 uh, this one and then flask api some things are running so let's try to run something new okay so we will run another container with this particular image okay docker run hyphen itd okay uh, or maybe we can even use some some known image okay so uh, there are like images from ubuntu right nginx anything so we can use one of these images maybe i'll i'll use uh, ubuntu image again okay hyphen e uh, i'm going to pass variable like user okay equal to coder okay then hyphen e uh, then host equal to i am passing 192 168.1.1 .1. okay then hyphen itd ubuntu okay so this is how we pass using hyphen e we can pass multiple variables i passed two variables one is user and second is host okay then itd then ubuntu okay so ubuntu is the image name so let's run this okay so now yes okay so we have an ubuntu image ubuntu container that got started four seconds ago and this is the the container okay so now what we can do is we will get inside the container docker exec hyphen it right then the container id then slash bin slash bash so i'm going to get inside the container 
okay now we are inside the container now you see so previously we were with the cib host now we have a host with the container id right so we are inside the host now what we'll do is we'll use echo command okay echo dollar the variable that i've used previously right what was it it is user right echo dollar user you see the value coder came right echo dollar host that's another variable that i used right you see value 192 168 1 .1. okay it came as the uh, user and the host right in this way we can pass any variable to a particular uh, container okay so similarly what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop that container uh, ps so i'm going to stop uh, docker stop okay so i'm going to stop it what i'll do is i'll pass this variables uh, as a file to that okay remove the container now what i'll do is i'll create a file okay nano uh, my env variables okay so env variables dot env i just uh, created a new file so here i'll put user equal to coder host equal to one dot two maybe uh, port equal to g1 right so i am passing like i am creating a, a file with these three variables now what i lose instead of uh, doing this docker run all these right i'll pass hyphen env file okay hyphen hyphen env file okay i'm passing the file env variables right so i'll pass docker run hyphen hyphen env file env variables dot env itd ubuntu now let's see what happens okay now the container got created docker ps so you can see a container that was up four seconds ago so this is the container id docker let's get inside the container exec hyphen it then the container id slash bin slash bash okay we are inside now echo dollar host okay the host came echo dollar port port came 1991 right user user came okay so that means it's accessible inside okay another thing i'll show you let's say uh, i'm not sure whether we have python inside this ubuntu image python it's not there okay so let's instead of ubuntu what we'll do is we will create another container instead of ubuntu i'll use python okay so I, i'll use a python image so let it pull the python so i'm running another container okay so and uh, the base image is python so it will download the python base image it will take some time because it is downloading a fresh image from the internet The download will take time depending upon the bandwidth and the uh, type of machine that you have. I could have used a uh, lightweight version of the Python image. So this is the standard Python image which has a significant size. So there is a, a lighter version of this Python like Python slim uh, image so which is even uh, lower size than this. So if you see this image, whatever I am using in this Flask app and all, so I've used a uh, Python image which is light, lightweight. So it takes some time. So what I'm trying to show inside this is once we have Python, right, we will be able to uh, use these variables from our python programs as well okay so let's say you have java node whatever it is so you will be able to use if whatever program that you're running right you will be able to use this uh, variables uh, access the value of those variables from your uh, from your program okay so your program can then use this value at the runtime and 
uh, let's say if it is a connection to uh, uh, something like a MySQL or, or database or cache like Redis, whatever it is, it can get the value of the host port everything at the runtime. So it is not just uh, just one small key value. You can even pass like large JSON. Okay, so those kind of things as uh, environment variables. So uh, the configuration can be of uh, I mean the environment variable the value can be of any size. It's almost complete. It's still downloading because it is only 36 MB of 211.2 MB. It's a little big. That's the reason it's taking time. Now only one more layer to finish the download. So in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll just show you what modification we'll make inside the program to use the environment variable. Okay, so we will use import OS. Okay, so we will use this import OS and instead of the port, what I'll do is I'll use OS dot OS dot get env of uh, I'll use a variable port. Okay, so this is my Python program and in this Python program instead of passing this port uh manually no instead of hard coding the port i'll pass the port uh through environment variable so what i did i just imported os and the value of the port i'm using os.getenv so this will get the value of the variable uh, at the time of run okay so i'll build another image using this and we'll see what happens uh, with this so not just the port we can have this variable for any other purpose so this is a simple demonstration with the uh, the port okay so i think now we have 80 percentage of uh, the download finished This layer is very slow. It's not just the internet. It is taking time. Maybe instead of waiting for this, what we can do is, what we can do is there is a lighter version of this Python so this basically this particular guy so I'll use this particular image so this is a slim version so this will be downloaded quickly okay so yeah if you see it's almost downloaded quickly done okay so docker ps now you see you have this particular container running docker exec hyphen i t no uh, hy hyphen i t now this slash bin slash bash get inside now we are inside the container now let's go to python okay import os os dot get env user you see value we got coder right so now os dot get env port okay 9091 the reason why uh, yeah, the double quotes came on top of this quote is because the value we passed it with quote okay so it's not really required because by default whatever value you are passing it will go as string okay so you don't have to explicitly give quotes to the variable uh, you can just pass like i mean the value as is 
okay it will pick up otherwise i mean while using in the program it will get this additional code okay so os host you see so now the value also printed right so this is how we pass it now let's uh, quickly show one small thing like uh, we will build the application uh, the the flask application right let's modify the make the changes here so import os import os and then let's pass it over here os dot get env port okay so we are passing the variable here now cat docker file okay so this is all fine now docker build hyphen it oh, docker build hyphen t uh, i'm going to create flask api app env colon v1 dot okay so we are building this image let it build yeah it's almost complete it's downloading the dependent packages and then <coughs> it's building it yeah it's almost complete now yeah now we have the image now what we'll do is we'll run docker uh, run hyphen e we'll have to pass port equal to maybe 1998 okay i'm passing the port 1998 and then hyphen itd then this image okay so this is the container okay so now let's see it's running right so docker inspect this particular container so the ip address of the container is 17.0.7 right curl hyphen x get http colon double slash and the port is 9098 right slash api let's see yeah so see the apis got started in the port 9098 okay so uh, this was passed dynamically because the value of this port uh, the application inside it received the value of this port dynamically it's getting it's giving us the 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 result okay so i we can verify what's the value of this inside exec hyphen it sorry docker exec hyphen it then the container ID. Let me pass the container ID of this. Uh, this is the container ID, right? IT slash bin slash bash. So because once you open this, um, okay, so cat app.py, if you see here, it is internally using the port os.getNVNV port and echo dollar port over here will give 9098. Okay, so the value it, it received the value at the runtime and it's accepting it okay so i hope this example is useful so uh, if you if you are uh, looking for passing something as environment variable you can you can follow in the same way either as using hyphen e argument or using hyphen hyphen env file right uh, using either of these options you can pass it okay so i'll be taking another video on uh, how to pass variables uh, build variables okay to the docker file uh, that will be a separate video Thank you, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day.